Hi, this is Torrent Sandal. This is a quick demo of how the Open Policy Agent can be used to control and automatically remediate the placement of federated replica sets in Kubernetes. For those not familiar with it, Kubernetes Federation enables efficient deployment and management of applications that span multiple Kubernetes clusters. When a replica set is created through the Federation API server, the Federation controller is notified and automatically schedules the replica set to be deployed on registered clusters. The scheduling decision can be controlled by specifying the allowed set of clusters in the replica set preferences annotation on the replica set. Using OPA, we can define the desired value for the replica set preferences annotation in policy. By defining the annotation in policy, administrators can control placement without requiring that all replica sets be annotated with specific clusters. This is important if the available set of clusters or requirements governing placement change regularly. Currently, the policies are stored as third-party resources in the API server of the host cluster. The remediator component takes care of replicating the policies into OPA. The remediator also replicates Kubernetes objects like clusters, replica sets, and nodes into OPA. To control the initial placement decision with policy, we have created a custom admission controller. The admission controller executes queries against OPA when resources are created or updated. In this case, when a replica set is created, the query result contains the desired values for the replica set preferences annotation. This way, the admission controller can update the replica set's annotations and the rest of the process proceeds normally. To ensure that replica set placement converges with the desired values from policy, we've built a small remediation component on top of OPA. The remediator watches for changes to the annotations on resources of selected types. Whenever the policy or state of the world governing replica set placement changes, the remediator is notified by OPA and takes action. In this case, the remediator simply updates the annotations on the replica set in the Federation API server. This way, the Federation controller gets notified and reschedules the replica set normally. So as an example, what we'll show is how OPA and the remediator can be used to enforce a policy that states that certain apps must be deployed on clusters in EU zones with sufficient PCI compliance. Okay, for this demo, we're going to use Nginx as the example application. Our Nginx replica set defines two annotations. The EU jurisdiction required annotation indicates to the system that this application must be deployed on a cluster within the EU. Similarly, the PCI compliance level annotation indicates to the system that this application must be deployed on a cluster that has been audited and certified to meet PCI compliance level two or higher. So first of all, let's create the replica set and then inspect its annotations. In addition to the two annotations that we defined, we also see the replica set preferences annotation that was defined by policy. In this case, the policy only allowed the replica set to be deployed on the Europe West One cluster. Let's look at the clusters manually to see why this decision was made. Obviously, the US Central One cluster was not chosen because it is not in a zone under EU jurisdiction. The Europe West Two cluster is under an appropriate zone, however, it does not have an annotation indicating that it has passed a PCI audit. This leaves the Europe West 1 cluster, and we can see that it does have an annotation indicating it passed a PCI audit. Finally, if we query the individual clusters, we'll see that the replica set was only created on the Europe West 1 cluster, as expected. Let's have a look at the policy to see how the placement decision was made. At the top level, we've defined a rule named annotations that produces a value for replica set preferences. The admission controller and the remediator will query this rule to obtain the desired replica set preferences value. This top level rule is defined in terms of another rule called replica set clusters. Replica set clusters defines an object that maps cluster names to weights. For now, we just give all clusters the same weight of one, but this value could also be defined by policy. The keys of the object effectively represent the set of clusters where the replica set can be deployed. The replica set clusters rule is defined in terms of two other rules jurisdiction satisfied and PCI compliance satisfied. Jurisdiction satisfied checks that the cluster meets the application's jurisdiction requirements. In this case, it declares that a cluster satisfies EU jurisdiction if the region attribute on the cluster starts with the string Europe. Similarly, PCI compliance satisfied declares that a cluster meets the PCI requirements if the cluster contains a PCI audit annotation with a level that is considered strict enough. This was just a quick example of how you can write policies for OPA. For more information on the policy language, go to openpolicyagent.org. Finally, let's look at how remediation is handled. To do this, we'll modify the state of the world that affects placement. Specifically, we'll set the PCI compliance level on the other EU cluster. Because the remediator is replicating Kubernetes objects into OPA, 
The value produced by the annotations rule will change as soon as OPA receives the new cluster object. Currently, the remediator pulls OPA for these changes. In the future, the remediator will register a watch against OPA and will be notified asynchronously. We can see that the change is propagated by inspecting the value of the replica set's annotations. And of course, we can now see that Nginx has been evenly distributed across both EU clusters. So that's all for now. For more information on OPA and the remediator, check out the projects on GitHub. Thanks for watching.